Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. I said last week that I might not do another Market Outlook video for the rest of FIFA 19, but here I am back at it again with the Monday Market Outlook video because we need to talk about batch number three that's gonna come out on Wednesday. Batch number three is the big thing for this week and this is kind of, I think, um, what a lot of people have been expecting. You know, last year during FIFA 18, we had the best of in packs during uh, footies, I think it was either during footies or during festival football, we had those cards in packs. I think that EA needs to do that for batch three as well. They said that batch three is going to include players from batches one and two. And I really hope what's really going to make batch three big time and stand out is if batch three contains team of the season players. I, I mean, I just hope that they go all out and that EA puts the best version of every single player in packs for the game. So yeah, you're going to have team of the season Ronaldo, team of the season Mbappe, I mean, all these TOTS cards are going to be in packs, all a bunch of informs are going to be in packs, and I want to talk about that for a little bit as well. But that's coming on Wednesday, and I think that's a huge part of this week, is what happens for packs in time, um, and we're going to talk about a lot of stuff in, in regards to upgrade packs, in regards to SBCs and stuff like that for this video. But I really wanted to focus on this first. The stuff that could be in packs on Wednesday, July 31st, is when the new cards will come out into packs. Wednesday, 1 p.m. Uh, my time, 6 p.m. UK, the normal drop time for FIFA Ultimate Team content. Um, and I just really hope that EA goes all out and they put TOTS cards, the best version of each card in packs. That's all that I want. I mean, that. They did it last year, so they can do it this year, right? We really hope so. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm really wanting to focusing on. What really want to focus on today is kind of talking about that. What could be in packs if they don't do that, and they just put some team of the seasons in packs. They put some random informs um, and you know stuff like that. I'm not going to be a huge fan of that. Even if some of the team of the season items, like even if a select few of these team of the season items are in the in packs, even if they're still like really good cards that are in packs, I just want them to put everything in packs because that affects a market like this as well, like the inform market. A lot of these informs are still very high and if we don't get a repeatable inform upgrade SBC, if they don't re-release that, I really want them to do the best of packs so that some of these informs will actually be in packs. Like this Dwight Gale, this Dwight Gale 84 rated card, if they do best of you can see what happened here with his price. He was about 40,000 coins before the Team of the Week SBC came out. He dipped down to 15K, 14K at one point, and then was chilling around a little, little under 20K. The SBC goes away, more SBCs come out, and boom. He shoots right back up. It's kind of a little bit down now. But a lot of these informs were very, very overpriced. And if you have the best of packs going on, like a, this Furpo card as well, this Furpo card would be the card that is in packs. So when you pack the 75 rated card, uh, the game triggers you to pack Furpo, you're gonna pack this card right here instead of packing his normal gold card, which um, obviously would be awesome for some of the inform prices. And considering that we're gonna continue to have SBCs released onto the game, like we do right now with the Richarlison, with the Pogba, all the flashback SBCs that they're they're putting back out, uh, flashback, in, I mean, best of SBCs from throughout the year, like the Joe Gomez SBC that is expiring soon, the flashback Vidal. If we have those informs and packs, if they do that best of packs for batch three, that's where I really think we could see some market movements from that. But that leads me to the SBC section, and I want to talk about this a little bit. The big time conversation right now is about this card being in the game and how it's overpriced. Um, but basically, just, this Pogba won the footies vote. I mean, first off, can we just say GG to EA for the just the player choices during footies? Richarlison, Pogba, Lozano. I mean, we've had very good weekly objectives and pretty good player selection. Um, for the actual footies SBC. So that's a GG from EA. They've done a really good job of actually selecting the players. Some of the price SBCs, the, the prices of those SBCs and the valuation of those may have been a little bit off. Um, and I was way off with my first guess for Pogba because I thought he was going to be like 600K. Um, I was being way too generous. 
He's about a million coins, and I think that's a smart move by EA. They could have made him a lot less. If they would have made him like 750k, people would have been a lot happier. But it definitely is a million coin card in my opinion. Um, you know, a lot of people are comparing it to Prime Vieira, and his SBC costs like 1.3, I think, 1.4. So it's similar uh, to that at, right now in the moment. Technically, this SBC costs 1.1 million coins at the moment. And they did give us 16 days or 17 days in total to complete this, which is something that we need. We need all 17 days if we're going to complete this Pogba SBC. Um, so yeah, I wanted to mention that a little bit. Another thing here in the SBC section, if you're watching this video before 6 p.m. UK on Monday, which will be out well before then, these SBCs are going to be gone after 6 p.m. If you are somebody who maybe is a little bit, uh, you're unsure if EA is going to re-release upgrade SBCs um, for after batch 2 goes away in packs, I could very well see EA not doing upgrade SBCs. Um, just because this year they, they haven't always given us what we wanted. I, I would love to see EA refresh these SBC, SBCs for um, batch number 3 when that comes into packs. But uh, I'm not too sure that that's actually going to happen. So I might be doing some of this stacking up might at least stack up a few packs, and I would recommend you guys doing it as well. Stack up a few packs um, from golds in your club, like boom, I think we just finished an SBC right here if we can get the chem. Um, stack up a few packs like this, and you might be able to uh, get some good pack pulls if they actually do not re-release um, some of the best cards in the packs. Boom, there's the 40 chemistry, we have an 81 plus double upgrade. I'm gonna start stacking some of these packs for batch number three, just in case whatever they come out with. And if they don't re-release this upgrade SBC, you're gonna be happy that you um, got some of these SBCs pre-made. So I wouldn't go too crazy with it, but maybe set yourself up with 10 or 20 of them, depending on how many coins you have. Save them up and wait till batch three, just to be careful, because I could very easily see EA not releasing that upgrade SBC um, back out for us. And that's what a lot of people are, uh, people are really needing this SBC if they want to complete Richarlison and Pogba. A lot of people want to see these SBCs maintain here because without these SBCs, it's hard to craft some of those players with the, the prices, at least of the Pogba, uh, it's out there. So one other thing that I did want to mention, some market movements that you could probably expect to see heading into Thursday, excuse me, into Wednesday with the new cards uh, coming into packs. Some of these team of the season cards, a lot of cards have been dropping. High level stuff right now has been dropping a lot the last day or so. And that's really, uh, it, it honestly is because of one thing. And that is because of Pogba. People are selling their cards to be able to complete that Pogba SBC. Um, I mean, t team of the season Sun was an example. I took a screenshot of his price this morning. He hasn't been under 2.1 million. I can show you guys the footbin graph as well. We're going to look at Team of the Season Hyunmin Sun really fast over here on Footbin. Um, but let's look at his price right now. It should be somewhere around 1.9. He was actually 1.89 earlier this morning. And if you look at his daily graph the past couple days, he's been around 2.1. You know, he's been around 2.1 this last week. And he very quickly dipped. If you look on the hourly, it'll show today as well. Down here to 1.861. So there's a lot of prices that are down um, across the board. Havertz was another one. Team of the season Havertz uh, went down a good bit because, I mean, honestly, it's people getting coins to do this Pogba SBC because this Pogba is such an endgame card. And look at this, Pogba came out on, um, what did he come out yesterday? And yeah, you see Havertz's graph, he was up here at 1.77, he's now at 1.5. I saw him on the hourly today, he was down at 1.4 something. I saw him on the market at like 149. So. A lot of high-rated, higher-level cards have dropped down in price a considerable, considerable amount because people are using those coins to go do maybe an Icon SBC to go try out uh, Richarlison, especially like a guy like Sun. Richarlison would be a substitute good to that card um, and stuff like that. So that's why I think you see some of the higher-rated cards dropping, and I don't think that's going to stop before Wednesday because if they put these cards back in packs, a lot of people are going to be uh, speculating that they might. So some of these cards will probably get panic sold a little bit heading into this next week um, just because people want to want to cash out and get their coins on a sun 
um, if they know the sun's going to be in packs again and stuff like that. Um, one interesting note on this Cristiano Ronaldo, the left wing Ronaldo, look at this right here. 248 just came up on the market. It was fresh packed. It, batch 2. This card is in packs. This card has gone crazy. It's gone down almost 500,000 coins um, in the past couple of days since he's gone into packs. I mean, he was over 3 mil, and now he's 248, just like 2.5 mil. It's a crazy drop in that card's price with the position change. Uh, just a quick note there. But you're probably going to see some team of the season cards dipping in price heading into Wednesday. Just because people are going to be speculating that EA is going to put a lot of these team of the season cards or do the best of type um, packs again, which I, I really hope that they do. Even Neymar down at $6 million right there. Um, he was a bit higher than that in weeks past. Where's Neymar Tots? Is he on the market? Neymar team of the season, 9 million coins. Now, if this card goes back into packs, you're going to see a little bit of panic selling for sure because people will want to cash out and yada yada. But we'll really see. It all depends. This week is so dependent on what happens on Wednesday with the batch number three and what EA says they're going to be releasing with that. So again, last little bit of a reminder, if you want to do some upgrade packs, definitely try to hit those up. Um, I would try to hit a few of them up and store them for Wednesday. It's almost like storing packs for a new team of the week type thing. Store those up, get them in your clubs, get them ready just because of what could come out on Wednesday if they do actually put out like a best of type situation um, and stuff like that. High rated golds right now. A lot of people probably made a lot of coins off of that Pogba SBC. Um, I know that a lot of high rated cards went up a lot. Let's look at like some really high rated. It's 93 rated. Um, yeah, a lot of these cards moved up a very good amount just because of the fact that um, they were needed for SBCs and they were actually able to be used um, for SBCs as well. So that's a big time GG. If you invested in any of this stuff, SBC stuff, a lot of it did go up and it's, I don't see it going down anytime in, in the very near future because we're just going to be getting more SBCs here in the live section. And I would imagine during batch number three, uh, the SBCs that we've gotten have been pretty good. I would, I would venture to say we might get a re-release of some player of the months. I know a lot of people have been asking about player of the month hazard. Um, some people have asked about maybe getting a re-release of the player of the year VVD SBC. I feel like that's possible. Flashback Zlatan, all kinds of stuff. Uh, footies is not done yet, that's for sure. We still have two weeks left. And this last two weeks should be a good end to FIFA 19 if they do throw everything back into packs. Refresh all the upgrade SBCs. Let us have the informs. Let us have the regular 81 and 82 plus guaranteed. Even the 81 to 86. Just, just give us it all. It's August. Uh, just give us all those uh, SBCs and we will be happy. We'll be able to grind a little bit. And of course, they're coming out uh, with FIFA 20 info basically every day. They're releasing FIFA 20 info out to us as the, the players of the game. They're tweeting out stuff, letting us know what's going to be happening in FIFA 20. So I think on the 31st as well, there's a big presentation about FIFA 20 and the gameplay like they had last year, like a, an Ultimate Team stream. Um where they go live from actually they're like in Vancouver they're live at the EA headquarters and they're talking through stuff so that'll be interesting to see stay tuned to EA Sports' Twitter for that and I'll try to retweet everything that I see about that to keep you guys in the loop as well um, but that's kind of the market outlook for this week it really just depends on what happens on Wednesday with batch number three what they decide to put back in packs and um, I really hope that they refresh these upgrades because if they do these types of upgrades, they have that team of the season guaranteed pack in the code. If they're going to put that out, we don't know. But we would love to see it. So if you enjoyed this video, boys, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.